Hello and welcome to HP Calx. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to do a few basic statistics on the Canon F605G calculator. Alright, so getting started, we have to convert our calculator from normal mode into stats mode. To do this, we press the shift key. Looks like this and it's located here. And then the stat MR key, which is down here and turns our calculator to statistics mode. You should be able to see the word stat at the top of the screen there. All right, now we can begin by entering our data. This will be our data set here, 10, 10, 20, and 60. This can be any sort of measurement of distance or weight or whatever you want to measure. So to get started, we place 10, which is our first measurement on the screen, and then press the, press the M plus key, which will add the data to our data set. So there we go. And we see one appearing, letting us know that there's one item in our data set. Put the next 10 on there, M plus, two items in our data set, 20, M plus, three items in our data set, and 60, M plus, four items in our data set. All right, now let's look at some stats we can find with this. First, we'll find the mean. To do that, we use this close bracket key that looks like this, and it's located right here, it has the X bar above it. Press it, and this gives us the mean of our data set, which is 25. We can also find the sample standard deviation using this key, this X to M key, with the S over top of it, located here, we press that, and this gives us our sample standard deviation for this data set. With this, we can also find our sample variance by simply squaring it, and we see our sample variance is 566.6666, etc. We can also confirm the number of items in our data set with this open bracket, and the N above it, right here, press that. There's four, which we know is the correct number of items in our data set. We can also use the shift key to find some more statistics. Press shift, there's our S on top, letting us know we're in shift mode. This same N key, shift mode, will give us the sum of values. For this one, it's 100. 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 60 equals 100. If we press shift close bracket, we get the sum of squares of items or numbers in our data set. If we press shift X to M, which is the small sigma, this gives us the population standard deviation, which we can also get the variance for by pressing the X squared key. There we go. We can also find the min x, or the smallest number in our data set, by pressing the shift 8 key. Shift 8, 10, which is the smallest number in our data set, that makes sense. And the max x, or largest number in our data set, by pressing the shift 9 key. 60 is the largest number in our data set, so that makes sense as well. All right, so this little calculator has a good number of basic statistics that'll help us out. And when we're done with it, we want to make sure we convert it back to normal mode by pressing Shift MR. Again, you see the word stat disappears from the top of the screen. And we're back into normal calculation mode and can do any other calculations that we might need to do. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there.